Okay, so finally, we have the integration leading to inverse hyperbolic function. So again, the principle here in integration is still the same. We just have new formulas to use. You know? So for integration of inverse hyperbolic functions, we have the given uh, functions that we can integrate and it will lead to an inverse hyperbolic function. So, for the first one, we have d over the square root of u squared plus e squared, which is equal to arc sine h u over a. So, uh, the integral of du over square root of u squared minus a squared. So, we have arc cos h, uh, cos h u over a. We have d over uh, a squared minus u squared. We have 1 over a arc tangent h u over a. And then, uh, we have uh, uh, d over u square root of a squared minus u squared, we have negative 1 over a arc second h u over a, you know, or the absolute value of u over a, and then a plus e, and then uh, the integral of du over uh, u square root of a squared plus uh, u squared is equal to 1, negative 1 over a uh, arc cos second h uh, u over a. So uh, how do we now solve for this uh, integral? Or, or how do we solve for an example? Oh, so that is a similar thing. No? So evaluate this given integral. We have dy over 9 minus 25y squared. Okay, so what uh, formula should we use? No? So we cannot use u substitution directly or anything else. No? So this should be an integration leading to either inverse trigonometric or inverse hyperbolic. So the integral of du over we have here now so a squared minus u squared that is equal to what no? so we have arc tangent or 1 over a arc tangent h uh, arc tan h u over a plus c so uh based on this formula we can say that u is equal to 5y diba so basically, we have u squared is equal to 25y squared. Therefore, u is equal to 5y. No? So finding the square root of this both sides, so the square root of u squared is u, the square root of 25 is 5, the square root of y squared is y. And then for a squared, so a squared is equal to 9. So therefore, we have uh, a is equal to 3. So we can write this integral. So this integral is now equal to what no so dy pala no? we forgot the dy so finding the, the, the derivative of this so we have du is equal to 5 dy right so dy is equal to 5 uh, so d over 5 uh, du over 5 so we have du over 5 and then we have 9 so a squared and then minus uh, 25y squared which is u squared Simplifying this, we have one fifth the integral of du over a squared minus u squared. Okay, so the integral of this, as we know it, is this one. So we just have to substitute the values of u and a. So we have one fifth times the integral of this function, which is one over a. So one over a. So one over three arc tangent uh, h. And then u over a, so u is 5y, and then a here is 3, and then uh, that's it, plus c. Simplifying this, we have uh, 5 times 3, that is 15, and then uh, our tangent h 5y over 3 plus c. So this will be your integral. Now, uh, for another example, uh, evaluate this given integral. So, does this look familiar? Okay. So, actually, we can utilize here the integral du over uh, u over square root of a squared. a squared plus u squared. No? That is equal to negative 1 over a arc, uh, arc cos h. Uh, u over a, so u over a plus plus a uh, c. No, actually it should be absolute value. No, but anyways, uh, it should be absolute value. No, 
So based on this one, we can say that u squared is equal to 4x. So u squared is equal to 4x. No? So therefore, u is equal to, so square root of this, we have 2x. And then a squared, that is equal to what? 1, no? So therefore, a is equal to 1. So because the square root of 1 is 1. And then we have to also change this actually. And also we want to have u here only. So using this again, so we have u over 2 is equal to x. Okay, we can utilize this for substituting uh, u over 2 here. And then also the dx. So finding the derivative of this, we have d over 2, okay, is equal to dx. So therefore, our problem reduces into, so dx will now be equal to du over 2, okay? And then x here will now be equal to du uh, u over 2. And then the square root of, so uh, 1 here is equal to a squared, so a squared, and then plus, so u squared, uh, it should be a square here, no? forgot the square so this will be u squared and then just simplify and also we can cancel this two so this will be equal to du over the square root oh, sorry u over the square root of a squared plus u squared in which in other words this is the 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 integral and so this will be equal to we have negative one over a so a here is one and then arc second h uh cos second h uh, u over a so u here is two x so 2x over 1 and then plus c. So this will uh, simplify into negative arc cosecant h uh, 2x. Actually, just, this should be an absolute value, no? Yeah, let's put an absolute value here since the definition is absolute value. Okay, I will change this into absolute value and then plus c. So this will be your final answer. Okay, that will be all. Uh, thank you guys for listening. And good luck in class.